Question 12. A system of linear equations is represented by line H and line J. So here is line H, here is line J. Do you see here H, J? A table representing some points on line H and the graph of a line of line J are shown. Which system of equations is best represented by lines H and J? Okay? So we have systems here, tenemos sistemas aquí. So basically, básicamente, I need to make an equation in slope-intercept form. Necesito crear una ecuación in slope-intercept form for this one, por esta, and for this one, y por esta. So let's go ahead and do that. Vamos a hacer. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with line H. Vamos a comenzar con línea H. So line H. And to do uh, an equation in slope-intercept form, para hacer una equación in slope-intercept form, I need two points. Necesito dos puntos, two ordered pairs. And so I can pick any pair from here. Puedo eleccionar cualquier par de allí. So I will go ahead and pick this pair and this pair. Yo quiero estos. It doesn't matter which ones. No importa cuál pares, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do negative 8, comma 1 and negative four comma negative two, okay? And part one, I need to find the slope. Necesito encontrar el slope, and there's a formula for that. Hay un formula por eso. So when you have two ordered pairs, cuando tenemos dos ordered pairs, you're gonna use the formula that can be found here. Slope of a line m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's go ahead and copy that. M equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This will be x1, y1, x2, y2. y2, negative 2, copy minus, y1 is 1, divide, division, divided by, x2, negative 4, minus x1, negative 8. So the first minus for here, el primer menos por ahí, and the second minus, el segundo menos for here, por ahí. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put in the calculator. Negative 2 minus 1, negativo 2 menos 1. Negative 3, copy, divide, división. Negative 4 minus minus 8. Negative 4 minus minus 8, or minus negative, that is 4. And let's put that in the calculator. Negative 3 divided by 4. It's the same as lo mismo, negative 3 fourths. That is your slope M. Okay? Part 2. So I have M. I need B now. Necesito la B ahora. So part 2, you're going to make your list. M equals negative three-fourths, x equals, and y equals. So for x, y, I need a pair. Necesito un par. You can pick whatever pair you want. Pueden usar cualquier par. I will go ahead and do this one. Yo quiero esta. So x, negative eight, y, one. And I will be doing slope-intercept form. So you can find that here. y equals mx plus b. So y equals mx plus b. We're going to change the num the letters. So y is 1 equals m is negative 3 fourths. x is negative 8 in parentheses. Copy plus b. Parenthesis first, parenthesis primero. So let's go ahead and put that in the calculator. So we're going to go ahead and do, to make the fraction, para hacer la fracción, it's control, divide, negative 3, down, baja, 4, go to the right, a la derecha, parenthesis, negative 8, parenthesis, enter, you get 6. Copy, plus B, equals 1. I won't be alone, quiero la B sola, but B is not alone, la B no está sola. There's a six, I un seis. It's positive, es positivo. The opposite is negative, el opuesto es negativo. So minus six, copy, minus six. One minus six, uno menos seis. 
negative 5 equals 6 minus 6 is 0. B and switch. B equals negative 5. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the part 3. You're going to do Y equals MX plus B. You change M and B. Y cambiamos M y B. Only M and B, solo M y B. So, Y equals M is negative 3 fourths. Copy X plus B, negative 5. But we're not finished, pero no terminamos. Plus minus is minus. Más y menos es menos. So Y equals negative 3 fourths X minus 5. So that is for line H, por línea H. So let's go ahead and write that down right here. y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 5. That's for h. Now we're going to do this process again. Vamos a hacer este procedimiento otra vez for j por la j. So I'm going to go ahead and write here line j. And I need two ordered pairs. Y necesito dos ordered pairs. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pick some pairs. So here's a point. Aquí hay un punto. Okay, so I have two numbers. Tengo dos números. X is negative 4. Y is 6. So this is X negative 4, Y 6. And then another one, this one. X, Y. X is 4, X 4. Y negative 4. Okay, so these are my pairs. I'm going to go ahead and write negative 4, 6 and 4, negative 4. We're going to do the same process, el mismo procedimiento. Okay, so let's go ahead and do part 1. M equals Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. This is X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Okay, so Y2 is negative 4 minus Y1 is 6 divided by division. X2 is 4 minus X1, negative 4. Negative 4 minus 6 in the calculator, it's negative 10 divided by division. 4 minus minus 4 is 8 in the calculator. Then you're going to put that in the calculator and you get negative 5 divide 4. Please put these in the calculator if you don't know how to do it. This is my M. Okay, part 2. M equals negative 5 fourths. X equals Y equals. I need a pair, necesito un par, whatever pair you want, cualquier par quieren. I will go ahead and do the second one this time. X is 4, Y negative 4. And it's Y equals MX plus B. Y negative 4 equals M negative 5 fourths. X 4 in parentheses plus B. Parenthesis first. Parenthesis primero. In the calculator, in la calculadora. Negative 5 fourths times 4, it's negative 5. Equals, copy, negative 4, copy, plus B. I won't be alone. Quiero la B sola. But it's not alone. No está sola. I have negative 5. Tengo negativo 5. The opposite of negative is positive. El opuesto de negativo es positivo. So plus 5. Copy. Plus 5. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 1 equals negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Cancel. You get B and switch. B equals 1. All right. And then part 3. Y equals MX plus B. You change M and B. Solo cambiamos M y B. So you get Y equals M negative 5 fourths. X plus B is 1. 
There's your answer. So this is for line J. Let me go ahead and write that down. Y equals negative 5 fourths X plus 1. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look. Which ones are these? So I have Y equals negative 3 fourths X minus 5. And this one, Y equals negative 5 fourths X plus 1. Let's take a look. So be very careful. So that doesn't look correct. This is not negative. That doesn't look correct. Okay, this one. Let's see, y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 5, good. y equals negative 5 fourths x plus 1. This is my answer. Okay, please be very careful when you are uh, comparing. Por favor, necesitan cuidar cuando están comparando. There are many people who make mistakes here because they are not careful when they compare. Hay muchas personas que están equivocados aquí porque no están cuidando cuando están comparando. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.